Hey, what's going on there, guys? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here once again on this Monday night. It is May 22nd, 2023, about 10.21 p.m. here. California time. Latest quake shows some movement over here around Turkey uh, with some aftershock sequences there following the uh, large earthquakes uh, a couple months back. So what else we got going on? Let's go ahead and check out the West Coast. I see this lighting up slightly down here into the Southern California area. Uh, looks like mainly on the Pacific side of the plate boundary here. Mostly smaller microquakes. Looks like the Palomar Observatory shown some activity down here as well. Near the Palomar Mountain with a couple smaller quakes here in the last hour. Uh, looking at the 2.5 and above model. Well, looks like uh, we did see a 2.7 earlier this afternoon up here uh, outside the Ridgecrest area. Also 2.6 further down south here along the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Up north into Northern California. Uh, got one earthquake here from this afternoon. Just like, uh, let's see, a 2.9 outside of the Redding area. This is the Battle Creek Fault uh, outside of Shingletown. You actually see it pretty nicely there on the um, topography of the map. All right, uh, let's see what else. Lake Almanor region, we did have those two earthquakes from this morning. Uh, but overall, looks like things have calmed down there slightly. Uh, one aftershock here in the uh, Pacific, just offshore of Northern California. That comes uh, from the activity that we've seen yesterday in this area, uh, including that 5.6 that kind of shook things up out here. Uh, but just one earthquake there from this morning. Let's check out the... Um, trimmer map here tonight for the Cascadia trimmer eh, eight wow <laughs> big number eight epicenters of trimmer um goodness this is kind of turning into a uh, a very unactive year for trimmer activity uh we did have a little event kick up here back in april really didn't even peak out all that much up here notice the graph uh that is uh, trimmer events trimmer counts the higher they are on the graph the more numbers that were uh, produced during that trimmer event it goes back to about the year 2010 and it seems like over the past couple years or so past few years they've been getting more and more active but man this this year uh, has been very minimal it didn't even peak out where i was expecting it to peak out considering the averages that we've seen throughout the years uh, so we'll see how this uh, kind of plays out it just kind of it's very quiet uh, in terms of trimmer right now. And that's the Cascadia subduction zone. Up into Yellowstone, looks like a little bit of activity today. Let me bring up the Yellowstone overviews here across the area of Wyoming. And most of that movement that was listed on the USGS map is going to be this activity uh, from this morning. Uh, looks like the afternoon time period and evening. All fairly quiet there at Yellowstone National Park. Uh, rest of the country here uh, getting some movement out out in Texas once again outside of Pecos, Texas 2.5 3.9 earlier this afternoon uh, things kind of ramping up out there in the oil fields once again and about the same in Oklahoma no major movement to report across the eastern portion of the country for now uh, Puerto Rico Trench still remains elevated here including a 4.4 uh, west of the area into the Dominican Republic at 15 kilometers deep South America, a couple smaller quakes there, still waiting for some movement uh, at the surface levels following that deeper activity uh, earlier. We did see a, a pretty deep 4.8, 613 kilometers deep into this area of the Peru Chile Trench. It looks like uh, now a little bit of movement uh, at the surface levels. Um, let's see here, but not a whole lot. Actually, uh, just twos and threes very common in that area the middle America trench up here off the coast of Mexico uh, Looks like a couple fours coming into the area Into Alaska some smaller microquakes up here on the globe The big island of Hawaii still continues to show elevated activity around Kilauea volcano uh, With uh, still a pretty good earthquake swarm occurring uh, just outside the crater area uh, mostly twos and threes down there uh, below the surface and um, yeah, some of them are fairly deep look at the US hazard notifications USGS hazard notification system here 
Uh, shows the Kilauea status. status? Starting to speak a new language here. Uh, currently not erupting, Kilauea Summit is currently exhibiting signs of heightened unrest. No unusual activity has been noted uh, along the rift zones there. But they do mention that uh, it is exhibiting signs of heightened unrest due to the uh, earthquake activity. Ground deformation rates are also elevated at the summit of Kilauea. Overall inflation is higher than conditions preceding the January 5th uh, summit eruption. So we'll continue to watch this. Uh, I think I said probably within a month we may see this thing kick back up. That's just my guesstimate considering all the activity that we're uh, seeing there recently. Also, we did have uh, another a volcano that kind of jumped into the active regions. Uh, let's see, where is that? Oh, right here. Over in the uh, northern Mariana Islands area. Uh, not 100% certain, certain how to pronounce that one. This uh, seamount. Aija? I'm not for sure, but uh, it's going to be this area. Um, looks like the current level is uh, advisory. It was unassigned. Current aviation color code is yellow uh, from the previous aviation color code of unassigned. Signals consistent with eruptive activity at the seamount began to be observed in underwater pressure sensors at uh, Wake Island beginning uh, May 21st and are continuing. A plume of discolored seawater was observed above the area of the previously active vent. Uh, due to this renewed activity at the seamount, the aviation color code and whatnot have been uh, raised there to yellow and advisory. Um, so yeah, a little bit of info on it is it, it is a large uh, conical submarine volcano that rises to within about 450 feet of the sea surface, about 11 miles southeast of um, one of the islands there of Northern Mariana, uh, Marianas. Looks like, um, yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on that and see. See uh, what this develops into. Right now around the Mariana Islands, things look fairly quiet according to the USGS. Um, not a whole lot of earthquake activity taking place there. Still getting some movement down across the New Guinea area and uh, into the, well, the Banda Sea region. But uh, a lot of this is from this morning. Not a whole lot of forward progression here across the Java Trench. Uh, hold on a second here. I'm getting all mixed up. Uh, so we'll continue to watch this and see if we get any further. Uh, what's going on here? Maybe it's just me. Uh, further advancement across the Java Trench here. Been kind of watching it, considering all the large-scale activity down uh, here around the Loyalty Islands. I'm expecting this to kind of kick back up and make its way around the Java Trench. Uh, down into the New Zealand area, things look very minor. Not a whole lot of activity kicking up here. I did see some deeper movement quakes once again in the Fiji and the uh, Tonga Trench area, it looks like right here, but USGS really ain't showing too much. Definitely some aftershock activity here in the region of the Loyalty Island south of Vanuatu and the Port Villa area along this plate boundary. Definitely seen uh, a pretty good cluster of earthquakes here over the last week or so, looking at about 70 earthquakes, including the 7.7 .7, uh, and also a 7.1 that kicked up here as well and a 6.5. So activity definitely uh, has been ramping up looks like activity far as aftershock movement continues to this hour all right up into the tokyo area still seeing a little bit of movement offshore uh just south of this region it looks like into the uh well portion of the izu trench northern edge very shallow earthquake movement from early this morning it looks like over here in the sea of osk area it looks like 4.3 500 kilometers deep no subsequent activity upstream for now and uh, again, the rest of the world active around the Mediterranean, mostly Turkey area, shown some movement in the Atlantic Ocean, all super quiet uh, for now. Let's see here. 
Just looking to see if there's any specific swarming going on out here in Southern Cal. I'm not really seeing it. Things are just kind of, looks like a typical day. Somewhat elevated in certain regions, but uh, not seeing any major ups uh, uptick in the uh, activity. All right, space weather activity here from Solar Ham. Uh, the uh, potential here for flaring has gone down slightly, uh, but don't let it... Uh, don't let it fool you. Some of these sunspots can regrow and get fairly complex in, in uh, just a short amount of time. 99% chance for a C flare. M flare lowered to 60. X flare lowered to uh, about 10% probability. Now looking at the UV filter rays here, um, I'm not seeing any major bright areas of uh, interest as far as any major flaring going on. The magnetic structure here of 3311 uh still looks fairly complex even up to the latest make sure this is the latest image which it is do you have a pretty massive sunspot region down here on the south uh section of the sun but uh it looks relatively stable still think uh this area could see another m flare or two uh doesn't look like it's degraded much uh, a little degraded activity here it looks like around the center portion of the of the core of the sunspot but uh, either way we kind of continue to watch it's definitely noteworthy to watch out around the bend there's not a uh, whole lot of activity that I can see back there um, yet um, somewhat eh, a little bit of activity over the next couple nights it looks like some some risk of um, auroras at the higher latitudes far as that three day goes but nothing major is expected so yeah that's uh you know kind of I, I keep my hopes up sometimes at these sunspots these these ones that come around the bend that are just flaring and popping with m flares would produce a massive cme and and uh be earth directed you know for the uh for the effects of the auroras and whatnot uh, once it reaches the planet but it seems as though uh, recently these sunspots when when we start talking about them about them about them and uh, they are being observed then they start to behave and just kind of dwindle down so um, just a little odd either way beautiful sunspots uh, it is still fairly active can't rule out though an x-flare 10% uh, probability with 3311 still harboring a beta gamma delta class it looks like all right uh let's see what we got here for weather activity tonight not a whole lot going on across the region i'm not looking at any major severe weather threats um only minor issues across portions of texas but uh right now no major extreme severe weather outbreaks in the forecast uh, and right now it doesn't look like it's going in the long-term forecast either a uh, glance at the numerical models here i'm going to go here to the uh, regions get a better broader view of um yeah we can do, go north america here i want to see what's going on far as the pressures go uh, and low pressure and high pressure out here. High pressure going to be in the orange, obviously. Ridging, indicative of dry, warmer weather. Colder weather still going on up in the polar region. So we're going to go here and just kind of glance at this. We are looking at some cooler temperatures here in the west coast. Uh, as we head uh, into... Actually, I think today was the last hot day. It hit about 93. We're supposed to cool back down into the 80s here uh, throughout the weekend. Um, let's see what else we have here as we put this into motion. Still rel relatively far out there. There's this trough here. Notice the jet stream uh, kind of dipping down into this area of the west coast. Keeping temperatures probably at or slightly below normal. Uh, while ridging develops here across a good portion of, of Canada. Heat. Uh, probably be some bringing in some heat up there. Uh, and also with that ridging, it should keep the severe weather threat minimal uh, across portions of the south. But we'll continue uh, continue to watch that. But it's been a very interesting year for weather here uh, along the west coast. But I like this. I'm not 
Definitely not going to complain about cooler temperatures out here when we could easily be at or above 100 degrees this time of year here in California. All right, folks, I'm getting out of here. Have a good day. Have a good night. Good morning. I'm kind of tired. Uh, we'll catch you guys back here in the morning sometime. Have a good one.